fine good afternoon to you all students hi students how are you i hope you all are fine and you all are doing well i hope by god's grace you all are safe so pray to god for your health your studies parents and everything so warm greetings to you all students welcome to our today's online class so now we are studying about chapter 3 isn't it so what's the title of your chapter so your title of the chapter is scoping okay so so before i am going to start about today's portion so just recall what are things i have taught at the last class and also in this chapter what are things i have taught so just recall what are things you have studied in this chapter so what are the questions you have read study define scope isn't it very very important to my question you have studied then define scope then define mapping then define namespace then define a eligible role so this much of questions you have studied isn't it so this and all very very important and also expect questions for your annual exam <clears throat> okay so today you are going to study about one important five mark question very very important five mark question very very important five mark question and also expected question so for that five mark question listen carefully sometimes in a question they will ask define eligible role with example okay so uh, like that if they ask the questions means also you need to write from here eligible role okay from here you need to write start and you need to write along with types of scope okay so and also sometimes they will ask the question explain the types of scope if they are asking types of scope questions means also you need to write from this eligible role so last class you have studied the definition of eligible role isn't it so what's the definition of eligible role it is used to decide which order the scopes needs to be set so what's the full form of eligible say local enclosed global and bulletin isn't it okay so today you are going to study about the types of scope very very important question so last year also i have studied this question okay so listen there are totally four types of scopes are there how many types of scopes are there students totally four types what are they local scope global scope enclosed scope and built in scope okay how many types of scopes are there on this more you see local scope global scope enclosed scope and built in scope okay so if they are asked for two more questions or three more question means you need to write only this points or headings alone okay five more questions means you need to write and explain full okay so first listen carefully first one is local scope very very important again and again i am telling so for this question you need to draw the diagram as it is okay what i have displayed in this slide same way only they have given in your textbooks also so textbooks also same diagram is there okay so textbooks also same diagram is there so each and every heading so this diagram is very very important same way only you need to draw okay and also one thing listen carefully so so have you seen so in that diagram second column second column they have made boxes have you seen that boxes so you should draw the box as it is in the code you need to mark or differentiate the box as it is okay so now listen carefully now itself please study okay now itself please study while well, i listen carefully so first what do you mean by local scope first point is local scope mean variable defined in current function that is important point so last year i study you know what do you mean by local scope variable defined in the function so here what do you mean by local scope means variable defined in current function current function means you are using which function now currently you are using which function that is called which function current function understood so what do you mean by local scope say the first point local scope means variable defined inside the which one current function understood the first point okay then second point so in this question so they will each heading they will see one or two points okay for evaluation i am telling so in this heading first important point is variable defined in current function so second one is so while you are running the program always the interpreter will look the variable name 
okay so what's the interpreter first the interpreter always it will look which one a variable name okay so if the variable name is not there inside the function okay suppose if the variable name is not there inside the function means only it will go to the outer of the function that is outer scope and so three points you have studied what are they first local scope means variable defined inside a current function okay then while you are running the program so the variable that that means the interpreter always it will look the variable name first inside the function so if it is not there that variable is not there inside the current function means only it will go for the outer scope that means out of the function understood understood the first point okay so understood so here totally three points are there now see the diagram listen carefully now see the first point okay now see the first point okay so first point see the function name is disp of see that code disp of have you seen that one that's a function okay so inside the function listen a colon equal to 7 so inside the what do you mean by a a is a variable so what do you mean by 7 is a value or object so what's the meaning of this one you are going to assign the value of a as a 7 see the next line print a so you are going to print the variable a so what's the value of a now what's the value of a 7 see next again you are going to start another one function that is the fourth line disp of see listen carefully so where you are starting the function okay where you are starting the function and where you are in which place you are ending the statement starting the function and ending the statement in that place you need to draw the box okay so listen carefully first where the function it will starts disp of isn't it so disp of a equal to 7 where the statement statement means that print statement so where the print will get end over that there you need to put the box so where it will get end over print a isn't it so from where you need to draw the box disp of a equal to 7 print a so that you need to draw in a one box see the next diagram understood now so next only one more function is left only one more function is left so you are drawing one more outer box understood the diagram so first you need to draw the box starting of the function where it will start this path okay then where you need to end the box the statement in statement means print a so the print statement so till the three lines you need to draw one box okay so remaining only one statement is at this path okay so that for that you need to draw one more box so what do you mean by local scope <coughs> say the definition it will look always variable defined in current function so always it will look variable you are defining in the current function okay so which variable you are defined in the current function a isn't it so what's the value of a now 7 so what output you will get 7 understood so see your exam paper in your exam paper also you should draw the diagram as it is what i have displayed in the slide no the textbook also they have given the same diagram same way you need to draw with three column first column you need to dry, write the code second column you need to write that box that is eligible rule box second third column for output understood the local scope okay then so next scope is global scope okay so listen local scope just opposite is global scope so what do you mean by local scope you have studied variable defined inside a current function isn't it same way global scope may variable which is declared outside of all function okay so which one is a global scope variable which is declared outside of all the function okay so the variable you are going to display which function outside of the function so what's the name of the variable means global variable understood same definition only have studied in 11 standard no same definition only so what do you mean by global scope variable defined outside of all the function is called which one global scope the name of the variable is called which variable global variable okay so this global variable can be accessed listen carefully inside the function also you can able to access outside the function also you can able to access but local scope not like that only inside the function alone you can able to access understood so local scope only inside the function alone you can able to access but global scope it's not like that inside the function also you can able to access outside the function also you can able to access 
and so what do you mean by global scope once more you say variable which is declared outside of all function is called which one global scope and what's the name of the variable global variable okay so global scope can be accessed where and are inside the function also you can access outside the function also you can access okay see this uh, program same program only okay so same program only listen carefully so last you have studied in program no so in that program only two more lines you are going to add only two more lines. see the first program from second line to fifth line listen carefully second program from second line to fifth line okay but this program you are going to add two more lines what are the line first line and sixth line listen carefully the definition you have studied globally variable declared outside of all function so where you need to declare the variable outside the function so first line you are going to declare a variable outside the function so where the function gets starts this part second line isn't it but you need to declare the variable outside the function so where you need to give the variable outside the function so first line yeah so there you are giving the way what's the name of the variable a yeah. so what's the value of the variable 10 so outside the function you are giving the variable a what's the value of a now 10 okay then you are going to write one function okay so what's the function last you have studied no disp of inside the function again you are declaring one variable what's the variable a what's the value of a now 7 listen carefully which one is here in this diagram which one is global variable and which one is the local variable see global variable value is a equal to 10 why because global variable always declare outside the function then a equal to 7 so that is a global variable or local variable local variable why local variable means declared inside the function and so the difference between global variable and local variable that global variable can be able to access anywhere inside the program but local variable can be able to access only inside the function alone understood see the third line so you are going to print a printing the value of a so listen carefully next you are again you are going to write one more function fifth line see the fifth line again you are going to write one more function so that function name is not disp of disp1 in that place you need to put disp1 okay disp1 now okay see that next column they have given a disp1 then after that you are going to print the statement print here. listen carefully in the first local scope also i said where you need to draw the box starting of the function and ending of the statement you need to close the box where the function will get starts now see where the function gets now second line isn't it second and this for where the function get first function where where the function statement gets over fourth line printing statement so for that that three lines you need to draw the box understood the remaining how many lines are there one five and six so for that you are drawing another one box so corner box only you need to draw understood understood this uh, how you need to draw the box so always that box should be drawn starting of the function so this from there to where in it end the statement print of print a then remaining only two for three lines on that you are going to draw another one box listen carefully once you are running the program always the function only it will get execute at the first always the function only execute at the first okay that means innermost function so what's the innermost function value so first of all, what's the function disp of so inside the value of a is 7 print a so what's the value of a at the first 10 or 7 inside the function means 7 so that get over then come out of box second box so there disp one of what's the value of print a the variable you have declared outside a equal to 10 so what's the value of second print a 10 understood the difference between global scope and local scope understood okay then next one is in close to scope so enclosed means one important word I said first itself which one nested isn't it so what do you mean by nested one inside another and so what do you mean by nested one inside another okay so here nested means listen the variable which is declared inside a function which contain another one function already one function is there so inside the function you are going to give another one function that is called which function nested function understood what do you mean by scope a function is with the function will contain one more function that means variable you have declared inside a function so that function definition will contain one more function inside it 
okay so here listen carefully so here the inner function also access the variable the value of the variable outside the function and the outer function also access the value for the variable understood what are things you can access inner function also access the variable then outer function also access the variables okay see the example then you will get understand so that is with, that is called which is scope enclosed scope see that one so same example last you have studied no same example but here you are going to add two more lines so like that you study then only you will never get forget so what are the lines you are going to include here means first line and seventh line okay so same program only but here you are going to add two more lines what are the first line and seventh line okay so here first you are going to write one function disp of okay so inside that function you are giving one variable a equal to 10 okay that first two line then listen carefully you are giving a value of the variable a equal to 10 inside the function disp of but listen carefully third line inside the function disp of again you are going to declare another one function called disp one of understood say so disp of already function is there there you are giving the value of a is a 10 but inside the function disp of again you are giving the variable called what disp one of another one function called what disp one of understood whether inside the disp one of you are giving the value of a no but you are ending the statement print a see the fourth line print a okay then listen carefully next to fifth line again you are going to write another one function disp one of listen carefully how many functions are there okay again you are going to write another one function disp one of there also you are ending the statement print a again disp see how many functions are there one two three four functions are there so how you need to draw the box that is very very important first itself i said you should draw the box the box followed at the starting of the function ending of the statement see the innermost function you need to draw the box first so innermost which is the function see third line and fourth line Dispone of the function starts at third line dispone of and ending statement is print a so one box you have drawn remaining see listen carefully this first line see the first line dispone of a equal to 10 okay then fifth line whether you can end the box at fifth line no because the statement will not get over where the statement get over sixth line print a so you need to enclose the box remaining everything one to six then only the seventh line function alone so that you need to draw the third box so inside the function so you are going to define another one function that is called what enclosed scope but listen carefully you are giving the value for the variable only once where inside the first function a equal to 10 so in the definition itself you have studied the value of the variable you can able to access inside the function as well as outside the function so always the innermost function will execute at the first isn't it so innermost function means that innermost box innermost is that small box print a what's the value of a now 10 because only one value you have given 10 so second thing second see the second box print a what's the value of a 10 so two times also you will get the same value because you are declaring the variable at the first function the value of a is 10 so two times also you are getting the value is 10 understood the third scope okay then fourth one is built-in scope so already i said built-in yesterday it's a built-in mean already preloaded while you are installing the software itself some scopes or some modules are preloaded in the software so once you are running the program so the compiler will take which one is absolutely match for your code okay which one is absolutely match for your code that the interpreter or compiler will take along with your that programming language that type of module is called what built-in module okay so best example for example c plus plus program you have you have studied lot of header files isn't it so each and every header files will have different functions so based on your needs for example you are using string function means you need to include which header file string dot h if you are using mathematical function means you need to give which one math dot h so based on your way you need to use the particular header file likewise lot of things a lot of modules already preloaded in the software so which module is required for you that module based on your wish you need to add that is called which one built-in scope or module scope understood so in this scope you need to draw one diagram any one diagram okay so among three diagrams you have studied no among that any one diagram you need to draw but but at the top you have seen you see that at the top they have given built-in of module scope that box you need to draw okay any one 
that uh, programming code box you need to draw then above that you need to give built in or module okay so once you are running the program so that program will take the see the next column so library files associated with software the software will contain the particular module so you are running the program that program will need which module that module the program will automatically take and you will get the proper output understood so what very 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 expected important five mark question today you have study okay so after completion of this session please students study and write it and see so in your computer notebook please study and write it draw the diagram as it is you have given in textbook or as it is i have displayed in the slide that is very very important okay so what are the four types of scope local scope global scope enclosed scope and built in local means variable defined in current function so then global means variable declared outside the function and then enclosed scope means one function is defined inside another one function built in means already preloaded program is there based on your wish you are going to add okay students very very important question so you need to write this question you need to sometimes in the question they will ask explain the types of scope so types of scope question if they ask means also you should explain from where definition of lgb rule lgb rule you need to write draw the tabular column diagram then you need to start from types of scope understood very very important question student please study well take care remain alkan in the next class thank you students